Alright, so here we are at Miguel's Pawn Shop. Sticking around for the attractions? Arcade asked me to find you. I'm gathering the remnants. Hello, Arcade. Making some new friends, are you? Huh. Why the need for a bunch of old war horses like us? They'll be the element of surprise if it's Arcade's suggestion, not mine. I'll say... Should they say you'll be the element of surprise? <laughs> hmm. Alright, let's just say this. Swooping in on a vertebrate, guns blazing? Haven't done that in years, but alright, I'm in. Sweet! None of this means a thing if the rest of the group doesn't show up, though. Oh, and you'll need my part of the passphrase to get into the bunker. Navarro. Like Dave Navarro? <laughs> I miss those days sometimes. We all had a purpose, you know? Hmm. I admit that some of the folks in charge were pretty ruthless. The rest of us, though, we were just trying to civilize things. The NCR was still new, and it didn't look like they'd last all that long. Then we lost the oil rig, and shortly after that, the base at Novaro. Nobody left except us remnants. What happened to the oil rig? The internal sabotage took down the oil rig. Never did get the full story. The NCR took out Navarro, saying we posed a threat to the region. Huh. I was the officer in charge. Johnson and Moreno were my heavy hitters. Henry handled tech things, and Whitman flew the chopper. Johnson and Moreno never got along, and I had my hands full keeping those two apart some days. It was a difference in philosophy, mostly. Mercy was not part of Moreno's vocabulary. Uh. All right. Judah Krieger is the glue that's kept us all together over the years, and with good reason. Anyone who can command Moreno and Johnson in the same unit without somebody getting fragged is one hell of a leader. Huh. Krieger was polite and kind, but never warm. He always did his best to make me feel welcome. I think he did it out of a sense of loyalty to my father. Loyalty means a lot to Judah. Not loyalty to the Enclave, or even the ideals they fought for, but to the people who served with them. <clears throat> uh... Sometimes I wonder how much of my father they see in me. They went through a lot together, but my family went through it too. I'm glad they've watched out for me all these years. Maybe someday I can return the favor. All right, one down, and here's the freaking mutant that's still walking around. Mean son of a bitch. Remember him? All right, on to the next one. Let's see. How about, here we go, let's go to Novak. Hey, that girl had big tits. You saw that? <laughs> All right. It's that old chick I'm looking for, Daisy, what's her name? One of these uh, rooms is hers. Let's surprise her while she's in her, her nightgown. Huh. Shit, I forget which room she's in. Here, hold on, Arcade. Let's actually, what time is it, 11? Let's make it, like, the morning, so that way she'll be out here, and I don't fuck up, fuck it up. <laughs> there she is. She popped in. <laughs> Thanks for popping in. Have you, your travel's been going all right? He asked me to find you. I'm reuniting the remnants, and I'll need your piloting skills. Told you everything about us, did he? 
Well, it's been a while since I've had my hands on the controls of a vertebrate. Gosh, she's old. There's a chance I could crash us in the middle of Lake Mead. That place seems to attract aircraft for some reason. <laughs> but if I get one more chance to fly, count me in. I'll be there. My part of the past phrase is dear. Okay. How'd you like flying vertebrates for the Enclave? I was never happier than when I was in the cockpit. I was able to go just about anywhere and everywhere, limited only by the fuel I could carry. There were more than a few missions where I took the scenic route home just so I could stay in the air. <laughs> Caught hell for it every time, but worth it. Some of the things we did were questionable, I know. That's just how it was back then. Figure I've done enough good to make up for any sins, anyhow. Huh. This is an interesting story. Watch your six out there. What's up? So I convinced her to go. Who's next? Next we have... Let's check this one out. Some some random ass thing south of Vault 34. <laughs> a random spot. There's a sheriff in town. He's looking for deputies. The hell's a human dignity block? Since my mother died, Daisy's been the only woman in my life. She was the only other woman close to my father, too. Hmm. She flew him out on over a dozen missions, including his last. I've always been close to Daisy. I love Anal with her. There have been some good men along the way. She's a good fuck. But lovers make poor confidants. Daisy never had children of her own, so she was always there to listen. Being in the Enclave didn't mean much to her. She just loved to fly. It broke her heart to be grounded. It was an important part of her life, why shouldn't she enjoy it? As screwed up as it sounds, at least she was a part of something. Hmm. Granted, it was something admittedly pretty bad, but <laughs> something. <laughs> if you spent the first half of your life flying Enclave troopers in a vertebrate, I suppose picking over pre-war rocket parts doesn't quite compare. Oh shit! Oh my god! He blew the gecko's fucking head right off! Holy shit! Alright, so the question. Uh oh. The question is where am I going? Where is this cave? This way. Oh, there's more geckos! God, dude, he's mad good. He's really good with that fucking gun, man. He's kicking ass. It's cool when you have enough teammates, you don't have to actually do anything. They just do all the work for you. <laughs> Cannibal Johnson's cave. Oh, shit. Where is it? Haha. -ha. out here by himself in a cave. <laughs> there he is. <coughs> what the fuck? What happened? I stepped on a bear trap. Shit. Cannibal, what are you doing, man? You made my fucking leg. Well, it's about damn time. What took you? Oh. Oh? I've been in the Reaper's shadow for a long time now. Huh. And I thought he finally showed up to collect. He's just mocking me now. Here we go. Thought I recognized the fellow with you. So what's this reunion all about then? You think your experience in technology will help resolve the conflict in this region? Well, now there's an interesting idea. <laughs> Do a bit of good before we're all dead and forgotten. You can count me in. Sweet. Oh, and in case Arcade forgot to mention it, there's a five-word passphrase needed to get into the bunker. My word is hold. Appropriate, huh? Okay, so he's If I in. had to pick anyone who didn't belong in the Enclave, it would definitely be Johnson. <laughs> he hated what the Enclave was doing. Day to day, week to week, he would question orders, subvert mission objectives, huh. anything he could to serve without serving. It's amazing he was never court-martialed. He always had good things to say about my father. Said I was like him in a lot of ways. I wish I knew. Don't worry about it. You don't have to be your father. I'm sure your father would be proud of you. I wonder if he would. It's pointless. 
I know, but sometimes I wonder what he wanted me to be. Hmm. Maybe being a doctor in the middle of Nevada wasn't exactly what he had in mind for his little boy. Huh. All right, so we got three down. This is working out well so far. It's an Enclave Foot Locker, huh? Oh, shit. I knocked stuff over. Sunset Sarsaparelli. All right, let's get the fuck out of here. We got two more to go.